Some of the Amazon's most deadly creatures only come out at night, and some have a peculiar trait. Under UV light, they glow in ghostly colors, so it's much easier to find them. And this is what I'm after, a small but extremely deadly black forest scorpion. A full direct hit from this powerful sting is potentially fatal for a human. You can see at the end there, that thorn-like barb at the end of the tail is what it'll use to inject its venom and uh, that will easily pierce human skin. The majority of times people get stung is uh, having one of these inside one of their boots or uh, perhaps just kind of brushing past a, a tree or a log on which one of these is, is uh, out hunting at night. Scorpions can set their sting to stun or kill mode, regulating the amount of venom they deliver. They can even use it to subdue a female before mating. They're magnificent little scorpions, but really a very, very unpleasant sting. It's, it's a neurotoxin, very, very similar to the kind of venoms that cobras, for example, use, and uh, worryingly, very similar to the kind of venom that the bullet ant uses. If this scorpion were to sting me with a full dose of venom, it would start a chain of chemical reactions sending signals flashing through my nerves and triggering a surge in stress hormones. Adrenaline would flood my system. My fight or flight response would kick in. My breathing would increase and my heart rate would soar, dramatically increasing the risk of heart failure. My muscles would start to twitch and my limbs would jerk as the neurotoxin attacks my nerves. My lungs would begin to fill with fluid. The venom of the black forest scorpion is so strong, it can break down muscle, poison the blood and lead to catastrophic kidney failure. There are roughly 150 species of scorpion in Brazil, but a sting from the black forest scorpion is powerful enough to put you in intensive care. Little Antonio is in serious trouble. He's been stung by a black forest scorpion and his body is in a desperate struggle for survival. Antonio here, he's, he's exhibiting the worst possible signs that you could have from a scorpion sting. Maria's just been explaining to me that um, he came in with uh, tremors in his face, paralysis to his lips and his eyes, and um, his urine was, was black, just completely jet black, because his muscles are actually literally dissolving from the venom. Now he feels he, he cannot move his legs. It's very weakness. Here and the arms also very weak. He, if there wasn't a possibility to make dialysis, maybe he could die. The scorpion venom has devastated Antonio's body. Severe damage to his muscles has caused a massive surge in an enzyme called creatine kinase. Normal levels of this enzyme are around 100 parts per liter of blood. In Antonio's body, it measures an extraordinary 600,000. The amount of waste products, obviously, that were in the blood have led to his kidneys almost shutting down, acute renal failure, as, as Maria is saying, which is why he's had to go on dialysis, which is really serious stuff. And all that from the sting of one tiny little invertebrate that size, one scorpion. Size isn't everything when it comes to scorpions. Often the smallest ones are armed with the most powerful venoms. Scorpion venom contains nerve toxins, similar to those found in the sting of the infamous bullet ant. And it's this tiny but fearsome creature that I'm hoping to meet next. Ah.